Today, I want to talk about Sarah Dreyer, she is a missing person, and BHB, aka Bullhorn Betty, attacking the family on social media. Sarah is more important than Betty, so I will talk about her first. Sarah is a 38-year-old wife and mother in Hillsborough County, Florida. She is 5 foot 3 inches tall and weighs 120 pounds. Sarah has brown hair and brown eyes. Sarah was last seen on April 10, 2023, in Riverview, Florida. She was last seen in the 11,000 block of Donnie Moore Drive in Riverview, Florida at approximately 2 p.m. walking toward the back entrance of the Bell Creek Nature Preserve. She was last seen wearing a black tank top, blue shorts, and black tennis shoes. She did have her cell phone with her at the time she went missing. The last transmitted ping location from her cell phone was before she entered the preserve. Monday morning, April 10, started off as a normal day for Sarah. She dropped her kids off at a private school and returned home at 8.30 am. She departed her home walking towards the back entrance gate of the Bell Creek Nature Preserve. From what I understand this was caught by a ring camera at 2.01 p.m. Sarah was walking alone and only carrying her cell phone. At around 4 p.m., her husband returned home. The dogs were on the patio, and there was no one home. There is speculation on a note Sarah left, but I was not able to confirm this information. Sarah's husband then called the sheriff's department and neighbors to begin the search for Sarah. The search started around 4.30 p.m. on the 10th and went until 2 a.m. on the 11th. On the 11th, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office mobilized air and ground assets to search the preserve and dam areas. Later that afternoon, the video of Sarah walking to the preserve was turned over to detectives. The search efforts were then consolidated to the preserve. The search for Sarah continued from 8 a.m. until dusk but volunteers continued searching for Sarah until 11 p.m. on the 12th. On the 13th, Sarah's husband's work organized a large ground search alongside volunteers with assistance from the Sheriff's Department. The Sheriff's Department provided ATVs, canine, and horses. A nonprofit group called We Are the Essentials joined the search efforts at the request of the family. They helped coordinate community volunteers to search the area on Friday, April the 14th. The search efforts continued on the 15th and the 16th. The family has requested if anyone has information about Sarah or her whereabouts, please contact the Sheriff's Office at 813-247-8200 reference case number 23383968. Sarah Dreyer posted, There have been a few YouTubers coming by the house and trying to speak to the family. While we appreciate the platform and believe it is being used to help spread the word to help bring Sarah home, please respect the family's privacy. Don't film them or request to speak to them. This situation is unimaginable and they deserve to feel safe on their property. Additionally, if anyone who is out there and is approached by a YouTuber, please remember most use the platform for profit and information you may have should only be shared with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department. Thank you all. Let's work together to bring Sarah home. BHB aka Bullhorn Betty responded to the family member on social media and said, I'd like to first say that I'm sorry for what your family is going through. It also sounds like someone has provided you horrible information about YouTuber out helping and most of these people we call them trolls and cockroaches. We will make sure your case won't be covered on YouTube or other social media and will make sure every social media personality knows to stay away from this case. Clearly mainstream media isn't help because I can barely find an article. My friend a YouTuber, was out in the woods searching for your loved one for two days in the heat. I was out searching for J.J. Rowland, and he was found. I'm a world-famous YouTuber, like the one helping search for your family. 
I'm sure your message hurt his feelings and his heartfelt efforts to help. I was going to join the efforts as well, but will refrain from doing so. I do hope you see the how this statement isn't helpful and will only hinder any help you may need in the future. I wish you the best, but my voice will tell all social media to stay clear from discussing or participating in this matter moving forward. Insulting people trying to help is sad, and I'll pray for you and to our family. God bless, and I hope your family member is found. That YouTuber you insulted has helped locate two missing people in the last year and a half. Just FYI. Betty, how dare you treat a family member of a missing person this way? You call yourself an advocate. If the family was to find out about JLR's criminal background and your domestic violence background, I am sure they would not want either one of your help in my opinion. You do not speak for YouTube. The good creators on this platform will get Sarah's name and photo out there. You called yourself a world-famous YouTuber, OMG, I almost spit out my coffee. There are tons of creators on this platform with over 1 million subscribers, you are not even close to 100,000 subscribers. In your response to the family member, you did not even spell JJ's name correctly. I saw your so-called search for him, you did not play a role in finding that little boy. You did not even once call his name. If anyone is interested in Betty's background, go check out Burnt Toast's video titled, Petty Toast. This is what hypocrisy looks like hashtag bullhorn Betty arrest record and dispelling her lies, I will leave a link to her video in the description. Doug Live Northport also responded to the family member's post. I do not know who this creator is. I had not heard of him until I saw this post. I will let you read Doug's response on the screen while I respond since this video is getting long. It is well known that Betty and JLR use these tragedies to profit off them. There is no reason to talk to family or other people to spread the word about a case or missing person. It is great to care about a case and go search for a missing person. It is not okay to act like you are the police and try to get information from family, friends, and others. It is not that hard to respect the families and follow the law. In my opinion, the family's request was not disrespectful in any way, shape, or form. They did not tell anyone not to spread the word about their missing family member, they asked for everyone to respect the family. They stated the obvious any information should be given to law enforcement. I am not sure if you know exactly who JLR is and his background. I implore you to please look it up. It is not hard at all to find out his background. In my opinion, he is a real bad dude. Not someone I would want speaking about my loved one or anywhere near my house that is for sure. In my opinion, everyone should respect the wishes of these families. There was no need for anyone to respond to the post in this manner. If you made it to the end, I cannot thank you enough for watching my video. If you feel like being generous, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.